how fierce is the threat coming from state-related activists and hackers? It's actually incredibly fierce, and it's because there's a very strong motivation to do these kinds of attacks. And what you'll see is that this particular group, uh, who is, you know, uh, part of, we think, Silk Typhoon, or maybe a separate group, we've been seeing this type of activity classified under something called Brick Storm. And it sounds terrifying because it is terrifying. And that's why the Cybersecurity Agency in the United States put out an emergency directive just this Wednesday, because 48 out of the, you know, Fortune 50 are using F5. A vast number of the federal government are using F5. We suspect that there's thousands of devices being deployed. And, you know, really, because the source code is now out there and in the hands of the Chinese, that means that a nation-state attacker is now looking for vulnerabilities in this source code and has information they never should have had about undisclosed vulnerabilities that F5 was already investigating. And and because the attacker was there for more than a year mm. studying F5, it's actually quite terrifying all the capability they could how, have. How?